This is amazing. Mm -hmm. You basically go through a three step already. You translate that into a unified language. You can do some quantitative sentiment analytics because we gave out a score. And now you can do more root causing for the qualitative part. And as we mentioned before, right, there is no prompt engineering involved here so far at all. No mention of prompt even. You just like call the function, pass the data, and you get the output what you want. Like super straightforward for the analytics folks who have no experience whatsoever in prompt engineering, right? Hi, I'm Arun. I'm from the AI product marketing team. And I'm really excited to have two of my dear friends here today. Rene, who is an AI product manager for us, and Vinu, who is from the DevRel team. And today, we are going to talk about how enterprises get insights from unstructured data. We'll also show you a really cool real-world demo. So let's jump into it. Let's start with you, Rene. What is unstructured data insights or uh, batch LLM inference? Can you help us get grounded on this? Yes, yeah, thanks, Aaron. So batch language model inference is really the process to run the same prompt, but across multiple text inputs at once. So similar to structured data, how people will run to run analytics over a table that has like more than 100 or thousands of rows, that's a similar thing to the unstructured data. We've seen a lot of the demos on people building chatbot uh, across like documents, customer review, email, call transcript. The reality is when people want to do more larger scale insights, they need to run those things across like thousands and hundreds of rows at the same time as scale. And running those large inference job reliably is actually a very hard thing to do that someone needs to manage multiple services from databases to orchestration tools. And for us, Snowflake, we really want to bring AI close to your data and call this a very simple yet very powerful SQL function to help you achieve all your analytics goals. Rene, that sounds really exciting. Vinu, can you give us a real life example so that we can relate to this use case? Mm -hmm. So I can talk about a retail data set example, right? A retail company can use LLMs to analyze millions of customer reviews at once to detect sentiment, translate it, or even identify emerging themes in the customer experience and improve the product development as well. But before LLMs happened, natural language processing was used to you know, do these specific tasks. But the challenge is that as a data scientist, you have to prepare and clean the data, train and deploy the model, and even you know, extract features, handcraft features and whatnot on top of it to make sure everything ran smoothly. But now, instead of having to build end-to-end -end ML pipelines, we could test these NLP tasks to, on a few records using these LLM functions and then use Snowflake and the power of Snowflake to really scale this processing to over millions of records just in a matter of minutes while being comfortable with the data and the security boundary that Snowflake already provides me. You know what, it'll make a lot more sense in my head, Vinu, if you can see a demo. I know you have a lot of cool demos, if you can show one to us. All right, let's see it in action. So here, as we mentioned before, I have a retail industry data set, a bunch of customer reviews, and I have about 100,000 reviews from the customers. Looks great. And what does this data set look like? Let's like quickly review it. It has a bunch of reviews, orders, and also the different languages it is from, and the different cities and the customers you know, who wrote these. So we have nine different languages. These customer reviews are coming in. And first step into the analysis is I want to translate all these nine different languages into English so my analyst can make sense out of it and derive valuable insights for the business. So I'm here using Cortex translate function, which we talked about earlier today. And you can see for the same review that's getting translated in English, and it's probably now gonna be super easy for us to now analyze these English customer review data. The next step is, of course, I want to see the sentiment of what our customers have to say about the specific, you know, restaurant data, like menu items and whatnot. So I'm going to use the Cortex sentiment function to get the sentiments. You can see the sentiments typically go from negative one to one, depending on how positive or negative the reviews are. But once I do use the sentiment function, I want to use the specific function called classify text that Cortex gives me to really bucket these customer reviews or the negative sentiment reviews into one of five buckets, trying to identify why could this be a negative review from a customer. It could be because of poor food quality, long wait time, expensive or underwhelming taste, and so on, right? So I'm really, at the end of the day, trying to understand and bucket these negative sentiments from the customer reviews into one of these root causes that I think could be. 
the reasons. And again, very simple in like one single line of code, I'm able to just input these review and the issue categories and just get the output done by this LLM. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. You basically go through a three step already. You translate that into a unified language. You can do some quantitative sen sentiment analytics because we gave out a score. And now you can do more root causing um, for the qualitative part. And as we mentioned before, right, there is no prompt engineering involved here so far at all. No mention of prompt even. You just like call the function, pass the data, and you get the output what you want. Like super straightforward for the analytics folks who have no experience whatsoever in prompt engineering, right? But it looks like Arun wants to write some prompt. You're not very happy with that. Sure. I do have some prompt options to, like, you know, later yes, in the demo Yes, let's too. write some prompts. OK, so you can see here that the Cortex said classify these customer reviews into different root crosses. Some of them underwhelming taste, poor food quality. Some of them are unclassified because it could not be under one of these five categories, be entirely something else. So it just goes under the label unclassified as well. And now, for those who are excited about prompt engineering and want to write a custom prompt for a specific task, I got it. <laughs> so in here, I'm trying to like, you know, identify the top 100 negative customer sentiments and see what the broader themes are. So I've written a prompt saying, you know, like summarize the issues mentioned in the following customer reviews. And I've picked the top 100 negative sentiments because as a product development person, I care about what kind of improvements I can do at this point, just trying to see what could be better in our restaurant. So. I'm using, like we mentioned before, Mistral Large 2 as the model under the hood to run this complete function. But you could swap it out with Llama or now OpenAI models do under the hood for the complete function as well. Let's give it a few seconds and wow, okay. It looks like food quality issues, customer service issues, and of course hygiene and service issues are also like the top three from our top 100 negative customer reviews. Super exciting, see we went from taking unstructured customer reviews data, like 100,000 rows, it's not a small data set. And then just in a couple of minutes, we were able to you know, run a multi-step anal analysis of what to really recommend to the restaurant in terms of food quality and customer service and so on. So that's the power of Cortex AI for us, all while not having to move the data outside of Snowflake at all. That's, that's awesome. Thank you, Vinu. Um, I guess my next question is for you, Renee. We hear a lot about uh, unstructured data processing, but we also hear that for it to be done right, there's a lot of pipelines to be built and all this extra stuff. Can you help us understand what is under the hood? That's right. So all the analytics are always done in multiple steps because people want to break down problems. So if your AI is very far from your data, there's first an operational complexity to really set up and manage multiple services to be able to manage both your data and send the data to AI. There's also a lot of costs being incurred during this process of moving your data to be closer to AI. And on the other hand, there's the whole data governance risk um, while moving the sensitive data uh, outside of the security boundary of Snowflake. So all roles are roadblocks that we see to really slow down the enterprise AI adoption. OK, so it sounds like uh, operational complexity, cost, data governance, several challenges when it comes to enterprise use cases. Can you help us understand how Cortex AI is helping enterprises become more productive? At Snowflake, we're really looking to deliver product experience that's easy, efficient, and trusted. So on the easy front, we provide you a very simple SQL interface to allow you to run those batch and model inference at scale. That's very similar to a traditional analyst who will run SQL on their structured data workflow. So you don't have to train additional people, spending additional cost on an AI infrastructure. Everything just very natively next to your data with AI. At Snowflake, we provide functions like complete to give you access to top AI models from Anthropic, Meta, and OpenAI just running next to your data. As a part of model running Snowflake, there's no custom data is used for any model training. And we also have built-in safeguards to ensure responsible AI. That's why more than 11,000 enterprise customers really trust Snowflake to scale their data and AI applications. That sounds great. We talked about uh, operational efficiency, cost, and then most importantly, data governance. Thank you, Rene. Yeah. I guess the next question is, Let's say if I'm not really a prompt engineering expert, I'm more comfortable with SQL. 
you know, what's your guidance for me? So AI powered insights where I could use these LLM functions directly to leverage these large language models under the hood without even having to have prompt engineering experience or expertise at all, right? In fact, thanks to the power of you know LLM functions in SQL that Rene just talked about, that I do not need to touch upon prompts at all, just define what I want to, like what task that I want to run, and then use that specific SQL function and run with it. But of course, when it comes to the complete function, you have this customizable option where you can give your own prompt if you want to. But again, that's only optional and it's not the starting point for someone who's looking to use these LLMs to run batch text insights in the data. For example, when we have documents such as like legal documents and financial reports and industry research documents, which are in the form of unstructured documents, you would not expect to use SQL functions to you know derive insights out of it, which you totally can thanks to Cortex AI, which is where you would find a lot of use cases in enterprises. This is fantastic. I'm sure everybody's thinking about the same thing. We are talking about enterprise data. We are talking about large scale data. So security, governance, those things are top of mind for enterprises. Rene, what are your thoughts on that? So enterprise needs to trust the AI models really powering their decisions. With Snowflake Cortex AI, organizations can get building security and governance with role-based access and policy enforcement. Also, the scalability for large data sets like we just see using optimized batch inference functions. Also, seamless integration with all the structured data and unstructured data you already have in a single platform with Snowflake. The reason that we get all the security and amazing performance is that Snowflake automatically batches requests and provides high throughput performance from its distributed compute engine warehouse to the GPU environment running language models. Thank you, Vinu. Thank you, Rene. Uh, if you want to get started with Snowflake Cortex AI, you can check out the links in the description below. It'll take you to the quick starts where you can get started. Thank you.